thank you, thank you, thank you for loving the box, enjoying the box, staring the box, everything in regards, reviewing to the box, just thank you. Um, really from the bottom of my heart, it's been so beautiful to see the response and just to know, like after experiencing Eduardo's live experience on Sunday, just that this is actually happening and just how beautiful this has been as a journey through this whole situation um, and what the platform can do for other artists. It's just been so beautiful. So I really do have to say thank you before I continue. Um, but it's a little bit of story time happening right now. So <sighs> it's just really overwhelmed. But the this, this story time is in response to this big question that everybody's been asking me since the release of the boxes. And that has to do with how in the world did I come up with this concept? And that's a big question because in order for you to understand how I came up with this concept of a box, um, you need to know a little bit more about me and the journey of being a musician during corona and wow that's pretty much where we're gonna start off so in order to begin i need to first bust it state by saying um what had happened <laughs> was that no we're not even gonna start there who am i so i'm a musician i'm a singer songwriter I am a live sound engineer, I am a live performer, I am very well versed in music business consultation, I am a recent Berkeley College of Music graduate in music business entrepreneurship, that's one major. The second major is music, sorry, music production and engineering, and then I minored in ethnomusicology. That's just to give you the background. I graduated in the summer of 2020. So that's the background. Next, 2020. So <laughs> um, just imagine music is your whole life um, and you're performing regularly. You're performing like every other week. Um, you're just, that's what you do. Let's say you have scheduled maybe 20 performances, 10 festivals before March, um, you know, for, you know, spring into summer and midsummer, that's your life. Um, you're planning to release your first single that you've been working on for years. And that's a whole story in itself, but like a whole EP really that you've been working on but you really just wanted to get this one song out because this is your baby yeah um and so right before the shutdown i was actually supposed to be and when i say right before i mean like a day after the shutdown i was supposed to be on a plane to puerto rico to a festival called afro nation and i wasn't going to perform there i was just going to go and try and network and whatnot but i was going to go to puerto rico I was going to collaborate with some people and I was also going to finish the music video for that one signal, single because that was the goal. And then all of a sudden they're like, you can't leave the country, there's a virus, there's this festival shut down, no traveling, um, the end of the world pretty much <laughs> um, as a musician. Um, all your performances are gone in the blink of an eye you're getting emails back to back to back saying that festivals performances are cancelled venues are literally emailing you in the span of hours saying that they're cancelling your event um i also got invited to do a couple of so far sound gigs that i was really excited for that was like a goal of mine to perform for so far and even possibly to work for so far cancelled boom 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 interviews for off-broadway you know theater gigs canceled boom 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 just gone <laughs> whole life just gone and i got depressed 
to say the least. The worst depression of my life. I've never been depressed in my life. Um, it just was too much to take on at one one moment. Just to see all of that just disappear. Um, I was also supposed to graduate in May live in a real graduation and canceled um, virtual graduation. So it just the depression after five years of being a student looking forward to being a graduate in the like as a first gen um just gone all of these experiences just gone depressing hit couldn't help it um and it was sad it was very it was very sad i wasn't ready for all of those realities to hit all at once and then i got COVID. <laughs> um i lost my sense of smell lost my sense of taste um I couldn't I, I was isolated all my roommates moved out in Boston um, my boyfriend also got COVID so we were isolated for a month um, separately and so I was literally surrounded by four walls like a jail and to get myself out of that depression I said you know what my fans are saying they miss me they miss my performances and what I used to do during my live shows because I sing reggae jazz soul neo soul world genre soca calypso latin afrobeat all of it you know i would say while we're doing those genres we're going to travel through music are you ready to get your passport stamps and that's what i tell my audience and so they were missing that experience so what i tried to do was in a way to keep bringing that music those different genres that history that ethnomusicology back to my audience what i did was start a spotify playlist and it was called sophia's world music tour playlist and every week or every other week depending on the person <laughs> um i would listen to a whole bunch of artists from a specific country and i would learn a little bit about the different you know identify what sounds i you know could say this is from this country this is from this influence and i would tell my audience about it and i would send out this playlist into the world and say here here is the music of kenya you know here's the music of colombia here's the music of brazil here's the music of new zealand specifically the maori like that's what i was doing and then i tried to blog but then the pressing hit. So I had to just keep it the playlist. It was too much commitment at the time to do finish off school as well as try and do a blog with the playlist. Um, it was too much for me mentally and emotionally at the time, but I tried. Um, but they loved the playlist. So I was like, okay. And it made me happy. It kind of brought me out of the depression. And then fast forward to, um, you know, August, I moved back home from Boston. I still go back and forth, but I moved back because I couldn't afford rent, of course, um, from Boston. So I moved back home and I started to record music again. I kind of got more happy in my spirit, you know, just to be surrounded by people I love. And then fast forward to like November, I was like praying one day <laughs> to God. And I was just like, I don't know what your plan is for me because life is done still um for a musician um i don't know what the plan is for you i don't know what your plan is for my music i don't know what your plan is for me you know just be me um i just hope that i'm able to continue to reach people the way that i've been able to reach people in the way that i'm doing and then all of a sudden it's like god himself dropped this idea in my head and was like why don't you make this a subscription box and i was like ding 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 you know um i've always loved subscription boxes i've had ipsy i've had boxy box i forgot sorry um i've had owl crate love that box i i've had them and i've had the food subscriptions um i love the the concept of subscri subscription boxes and i was like yo i can do this and then all of a sudden nothing else mattered in the world um i was thinking of all the ways that i could just use this box to give a platform to other artists to give a platform to culture to give a platform for musicians to give a platform for small businesses 
and just like this whirlwind of ideas kept on just churning and churning and churning and then I just started getting items I would ask business owners like Josina Supplies who was the soapstone you know item in the box I would be like what what does your what does your business do like where do, where are these items from and she would tell me and I'd be like oh my god that's so beautiful I love that you give back and so I've kept on trying to find items that do that. So I just started stashing up a bunch of items in the box. I was like, also, oh, I want to put some travel items in here that are just, you know, things that I would like when I travel. Because that was also a part of the box as well as my experience. Um, I tr This is the first, the, it's going to be the first, last year is the first year I've never traveled anywhere. I usually travel somewhere internationally every year. And so I was like, yo what if I get like a speaker cup <laughs> you know put music and a cup together and boom got that item I was like oh my god yes yes you know and then every item that was in the box is just perfectly added up to make what the box is and I was like oh my god it's coming true the 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 pair is coming true and Pretty much, um, once Eduardo, Eduardo was the first person I asked when I, I came up with the idea and he was down and I just, I melted. <laughs> and just to have this, again, this platform for a musician, you know, when we've been hit so hard, um, we lost 30 million and, and counting since last year. Um, with corona as an industry as an entertainment industry and musicians don't make money from streaming music the way we made money was live performance and merchandise so just to give that type of platform back to my peers was very important to me so yeah that is the box that is why i created the box and yeah that i hope that answers the question of who i am why I created the box and just yeah that was a long-winded question but thank you so much for watching